How to record EPF and ESI transactions in any software? I am Sabu Joseph. Welcome to SVJ Academy. Hundreds of practical and useful videos are available in my channel. Definitely it will help you to grow better in accounting profession. Kindly watch it and drop your comments. Channel will be very much useful for the commerce students as well as the accountants, especially new accountants and accounting job seekers so please subscribe my channel if not subscribe yet and please enable the bell icon and kindly share the channel to your friends and colleagues for the better understanding about the accounting concepts practices and discussion a facebook group is also available kindly join the group you can share your doubts ideas and requirements on the group more than 2600 members are already joined the group they are sharing their knowledge and doubts on the group so kindly join the group in this video i will show how to record epf and esi transactions in our software or in any software whatever the software we are using the accounting treatments methods and the heads are same we can start with the epf before moving to the accounting aspect just go through the epf applicability contribution rates due dates returns etc what is epf epf stands for employee provident fund employees provident fund epf is a scheme under the employees provident funds and miscellaneous provision act 1952 it is regulated by the employee provident fund organization epfo which is one of the world's largest social security organizations the applicability of epf registration for employers epf registration is mandatory for all establishments which is a factory engaged in any industry having 20 or more persons and to any other establishment employing 20 or more persons or class of such establishments which the central government may by notification specify on this behalf. Any establishment employing less than 20 people who voluntarily sign up for the scheme. So under the EPFO, the employers who have 20 or more employees have to register with the EPF and uh, the employer can also voluntarily register with the EPF even if their employee strength is less than 20. Now coming to the parties in EPF. Under EPF, we have two parties. One is employer, shortly called ER. And the second is employee, shortly called EE. The contribution rates of EPF. The maximum amount of salary for PF calculation is capped to 15,000 rupees. This 15,000 rupees will be basic plus DA. So for calculating the EPF salary, basic plus DA only will be considered. The employee and the employer has to give their contributions. So the rates are given to both the employer and the employee. The employee share of EPF will be 12 percentage. There is no other contribution from the side of employee. From the side of employer, he has to pay 3.67 percentage towards EPF and 8.33 percentage towards EPS. EPS means employee pension scheme. This is 8.33 percentage with a maximum of rupees 1250. So both the 3.67 and 8.33 will be 12 percentage. So the employee contribution and the employer contribution will be same. But the employer is giving their contribution into EPF and EPS. The employer has to give 0.5 percentage towards ETLI. ETLI means employee deposit linked insurance. So the employer has to give 0.5 percentage towards at least with a minimum of rupees 75 and 0.5 percentage towards EPF admin charges by the employer with a minimum of 500. So the employer has to pay 12 percentage plus 0.5 percentage plus 0.5 percentage. It is coming to 13 percentage in overall. This is the contribution rates of employee and employer. The calculation of EPF. The EPF will be calculated on the basic plus DA of the employee with a maximum of rupees 15,000. So here, for example, we can consider 15,000 as the employee salary. The employee share will be 12 percentage of 15,000. That will be 1,800. The employer has to give 3.67 percentage of 15,000 towards EPF. That is 550. 8.33 percentage of 15,000 towards EPS. 
with a minimum of rupees 1,050. So in this case, it is coming to a minimum of 1,050 and 0.5 percentage of 15,000 towards employee deposit linked insurance with a minimum of rupees 75. Here the minimum is applicable 75 and 0.5 percentage of 15,000 as EPF admin charges with a minimum of rupees 500. Here 500 is applicable. So the total contribution of the employer will be 550 plus 1250 plus 75 plus 500 2375. This is the total contribution of the employer. So the total amount to be remitted to the government will be 4175 which is 1800 from the employee and 2375 from the employer. This both the amount we have to remit to the government. Coming to the accounting entries in the software. Before going to record any transaction in our software, we have to go a step by step process. Here also we can go by step by step. If you are recording the transactions step by step, we can avoid mistake, errors and perfectly we can do it. Here also we are moving with a step by step. For example, salary for the month of May 2021 to Mr. A rupees 15,000. Total percentage EPF is applicable. So here we have to go step by step. The first step will be recording or booking of expense. Here we have to book the salary. Salary is an expense. So debit to salary account 15,000. It is to be given to Mr. A. So credit to Mr. A account. Now we recorded the expense and the liability also. The second step is pass entries for PF deduction from Mr. A. We have deducted 1,800 from Mr. A. That is to be deducted from the salary of Mr. A. The rest of the amount, 13,200 only, Mr. A is eligible to get. So, A account is showing a credit balance of 15,000. So, debit Mr. A, 1,800. The credit will be given to a new account, EPF payable account. We have to open an account, EPF payable under current liabilities. So, credit to EPF payable, 1,800. The third step will be payment of salary to Mr. A. So debit A account 13,200 which is the balance available to him. Credit to concerned bank account to bank 13,200. The fourth step will be pass entries to record the employer's share of contribution. So for recording the employer's share of contribution we have to open a new account. EPF employer's share. This is an expense account. So recording the employer's share debit to EPF employee share 2375 to EPF payable 2375. Now the EPF payable account is showing two credits 1800 and 2375. This we have to remit it to the government on the due date. So the fifth step will be e-filing ECR and remitting the EPF amount to the government. So when we remitting the amount to the government, we have to debit the liability account because the liability we are just discharging now. Debit EPF payable, the total of EPF account 1800 plus 2375 that is 4175. Credit will be given to the concerned bank account. Now we completed all the entries by five step now let's see how these transactions will record in tally so go to tally i have already opened these accounts so go to vouchers the first entry will be salary account after 15000 to mr a so debit salary 15000 credit to a 15000 narration being salary payable to mr a for the month of may 2021 the second is the deduction of EPF contribution from the salary of Mr. A. So debit A account 1,800 to EPF payable 1,800. Narration being employee share of EPF contribution for the month of May 2021. Deducted. Third one is the payment of salary to Mr. A. This is a payment. So go to the payments. Debit Mr. A 13,200 and uh, credit to concerned bank account. 13,200. Narration being salary paid to Mr. A for the month of May 2021. Now go to the balance sheet. We can see. Now go to the balance sheet. Under current liabilities, 1,800 is showing as EPF payable. Go to PNL, 15,000 is showing as the salary as expense. Now we have to record the employee share of EPF. Again go to voucher, journal, debit, EPF employee share 2375. Two. EPF payable narration being employer's share of 
ഇ പി എഫ് കോൺട്രിബ്യൂഷൻ ഫോർ ദി മന്ത് ഓഫ് മെയ് ടു തൗസൻഡ് ട്വൻറ്റി വൺ നൗ ജസ്റ്റ് ചെക്ക് ദി ബാലൻസ് ഷീറ്റ് അണ്ടർ കറണ്ട് ലെബിലിറ്റീസ് ഇ പി എഫ് പേബിൾ അക്കൗണ്ട് ഷോയിങ് ഫോർ തൗസൻഡ് വൺ സെവൻറ്റി ഫൈവ് ദിസ് ഫോർ തൗസൻഡ് വൺ സെവൻറ്റി ഫൈവ് വി ഹാവ് ടു റെമിറ്റ് ടു ദി ഗവൺമെൻറ് അവർ അക്കൗണ്ട് ഈസ് ഷോയിങ് ദി ബാലൻസ് ഫോർ തൗസൻഡ് വൺ സെവൻറ്റി ഫൈവ് ദിസ് ഇസ് ദി ലെഡ്ജർ അക്കൗണ്ട് ഓഫ് ഇ പി എഫ് പേബിൾ ദിസ് ഫോർ തൗസൻഡ് വൺ സെവൻറ്റി ഫൈവ് വി ഹാവ് ടു റെമിറ്റ് ടു ദി ഗവൺമെൻറ് സോ പാസ് വൺ മോർ പേയ്മെൻറ് എൻ്റെ ഡെബിറ്റ് ഇ പി എഫ് പേബിൾ ഫോർ തൗസൻഡ് വൺ സെവൻറ്റി ഫൈവ് ടു ദി കൺസേൺഡ് ബാങ്ക് അക്കൗണ്ട് നരേഷൻ ബീങ് ഇ പി എഫ് കോൺട്രിബ്യൂഷൻ റെമിറ്റഡ് ഫോർ ദി മന്ത് ഓഫ് മെയ് ടു തൗസൻഡ് ട്വൻറ്റി വൺ നൗ വി കംപ്ലീറ്റഡ് ദി ഇ പി എഫ് പാർട്ട് നൗ കം ടു ദി ഡ്യൂ ഡേറ്റ്സ് ഓഫ് പേയ്മെൻറ്റ്സ് ആൻഡ് ഇ ഫൈലിംഗ് ഓഫ് ഇ സി ആർ ഇ സി ആർ മീൻസ് ഇലക്ട്രോണിക് ചെറൻ കം റിട്ടേൺ ദി ഇലക്ട്രോണിക് ചെറൻ കം റിട്ടേൺ ഹാസ് ടു ബി ഫൈൽ ഓൺ ഓർ ബിഫോർ ഫിഫ്റ്റീൻ ഓഫ് ദി ഫോളോയിങ് മന്ത് ആഫ്റ്റർ ഫൈലിംഗ് ദി ഇ സി ആർ ദെൻ ഓൺലി വി ക്യാൻ മേക്ക് ദി പേയ്മെൻറ്റ് സോ ദി ലാസ്റ്റ് ഡേറ്റ് ഫോർ ഫൈലിംഗ് ദി ഇ സി ആർ ആൻഡ് പേയ്മെൻറ്റ് വുഡ് ബി ദി ഫിഫ്റ്റീൻ ഓഫ് ദി ഫോളോയിങ് മന്ത് സോ വി ഹാവ് ടു ഫൈൽ ദി ഇ സി ആർ ആൻഡ് മേക്ക് ദി പേയ്മെൻറ്റ് ഓൺ ഓർ ബിഫോർ ഫിഫ്റ്റീൻ ഓഫ് ദി ഫോളോയിങ് മന്ത് നോ കമ്മിങ് ടു ഇ എസ് ഐ വാട്ട് ഈസ് ഇ എസ് ഐ ഇ എസ് ഐ സ്റ്റാൻഡ് ഫോർ എംപ്ലോയി സ്റ്റേറ്റ് ഇൻഷുറൻസ് എംപ്ലോയി സ്റ്റേറ്റ് ഇൻഷുറൻസ് ഓർ ഇ എസ് ഐ ഇസ് എ സ്കീം കമൻസ്ഡ് ബൈ ദി ഗവൺമെൻറ് ഓഫ് ഇന്ത്യ ടു ഓഫർ മെഡിക്കൽ മോണിറ്ററി ആൻഡ് അതർ അഡ്വാൻറ്റേജ് ടു വർക്കേഴ്സ് ഇ എസ് ഐ ഈസ് മാനേജ്ഡ് ബൈ ആൻ ഓട്ടോണോമസ് അതോറിറ്റി എംപ്ലോയി സ്റ്റേറ്റ് ഇൻഷുറൻസ് കോർപ്പറേഷൻ വിച്ച് ലൈസ് അണ്ടർ ദി ജുസ്ട്രിഷൻ ഓഫ് ദി മിനിസ്ട്രി ഓഫ് ലേബർ ആൻഡ് എംപ്ലോയ്മെൻറ്റ് ദി ആപ്ലിക്കബിലിറ്റി ഓഫ് ഇ എസ് ഐ രജിസ്ട്രേഷൻ ഫോർ എംപ്ലോയേഴ്സ് ദി ഇ എസ് ഐ സ്കീം ഈസ് ആപ്ലിക്കബിൾ ടു ഓൾ ഫാക്ടറീസ് ആൻഡ് അതർ എസ്റ്റാബ്ലിഷ്മെൻറ്റ് ആസ് ഡിഫൈൻ ഇൻ ദി ആക്ട് വിത്ത് ടെൻ ഓർ മോർ പേഴ്സൺസ് എംപ്ലോയിഡ് ഇൻ സച്ച് എസ്റ്റാബ്ലിഷ്മെൻറ്റ് ആൻഡ് ദി ബെനിഫിഷറീസ് മന്ത്ലി വേജസ് ഡസ് നോട്ട് എക്സീഡ് ട്വൻറ്റി വൺ തൗസൻഡ് ആർ കവേഡ് അണ്ടർ ദി സ്കീം സോ ഓൾ ദി എംപ്ലോയേഴ്സ് ഹു ഹാവ് ടെൻ ഓർ മോർ എംപ്ലോയീസ് ഹാവ് ടു രജിസ്റ്റർ വിത്ത് ഇ എസ് ഐ ആൻഡ് ഇഫ് ദി എംപ്ലോയീസ് സാലറി ഈസ് ലെസ് ദാൻ ട്വൻറ്റി വൺ ഓൺലി എലിജിബിൾ ഫോർ ദി ഇ എസ് ഐ കാൽക്കുലേഷൻ ഓഫ് ഇ എസ് ഐ ഫോർ കാൽക്കുലേറ്റിംഗ് ദി ഇ എസ് ഐ കോൺട്രിബ്യൂഷൻ ദി മാക്സിമം എമൗണ്ട് ഓഫ് ഇ എസ് ഐ ക്യാപ്റ്റ് ടു റുപ്പീസ് ട്വൻറ്റി വൺ തൗസൻഡ് ഓൾ ദി എംപ്ലോയീസ് ഹു ഹാവ് സാലറി ലെസ് ദാൻ ട്വൻറ്റി വൺ തൗസൻഡ് ഈസ് എലിജിബിൾ ഫോർ ഇ എസ് ഐ and uh, more than 21000 are out of the purview of esi so the esi contribution will be calculated on gross salary with a capping of 21000 under epf we have calculated the epf contribution on basic plus da here there is no such calculation the entire gross salary will be considered for calculating the esi here also the employee has to give 0.7 percentage as esi contribution and the employer has to give 3.25 percentage as employer contribution suppose if the salary is 15000 the employee has to give 0.75 percentage of 15000 that will be 113 rupees from the employer side they have to give 3.25 percentage of 15000 that is 488 towards esi so the total contribution of both the employee and the employer coming to 601 rupee that is to be remitted to the government esi accounting entries in the software here also we have to go step by step suppose for example salary of mr a for the month of may 2021 15000 first we have to book the salary debit the salary salary account at 15000 to mr a 15000 the second step is pass entries for recording esi deduction from mr a so debit mr a 113 rupees and we have to open an account esi payable to record the esi payable liability so credit esi payable 113 rupees the third step is payment of salary to mr a we have to make payment of salary to mr a 15000 minus 113 the rest of the amount we have to give so debit to mr a 14,887 and credited to concerned bank account. Now we completed the payments. The fourth step is pass entries to record employer's share of ESI. Here we have to create a new account. ESI employer's share. It is a normal account. It is an expense account coming to PNL account. So debit to ESI employer's share 488. credit to epf payable 488 this is the fourth step to record the employer share of contribution on or before the due date so this fifth step will be e filing and remitting the esi amount to the government when we making the payment to the government debit to the epf payable account 
EPF payable 601 rupee, credit to concern bank account 601 rupee. Now go to tally. Just go through how we are recording these entries in tally. The first one is recording of salary. So go to voucher, salary 15,000, credit to Mr. A 15,000. Narration being salary payable to Mr. A for the month of May 2021. Go to the second one, recording of ESI deduction from Mr. A. So debit A account 113 to ESI payable 113. Narration being employee share of contribution of ESI for the month of May 2021. Go to the third one, the payment of salary to Mr. A. So go to payments, debit A 14,887, credit to consent bank account 14,887. Narration being salary paid to Mr. A for the month of May 2021. Go to the fourth one, recording of employer share of contribution. Go to journal, debit to ESI employer share 488 to ESI payable 488. Narration being employer share of ESI contribution for the month of May 2021. The fifth step is remitting the ESI payable to the government. So go to payments, debit ESI payable 601 rupee, credit to consent bank account. Narration being ESI remitted for the month of May 2021. 21. Now all the accounts will be closed. Now coming to PNL. Now we can see EPF employer share 2375 as expense. ESI employer share 488. Salary 30,000. These are the expense on the PNL account. Now coming to balance sheets. We can see nothing in liability. Everything is closed. Just go to the concerned ledger account. Mr. A. We can see the first we have credited 15,000 as salary. Then deduct the PF then remitted the payment. Again, we have credited the salary, then deducted the ESI and make the payment. Now, the account is showing zero balance. Go to the next ledger, ESI payable. ESI payable ledger also showing two credits. One is from the employee side and the second is from the employer side. Both the amount we remitted to the government and is showing debits. Now, the closing balance is showing zero. Now, we completed the recording of EPF and ESI transactions in any software. Whatever the software it is, methods are same. If you really like the information, please like, share and drop your comments and requesting to subscribe my channel and please enable the bell icon to get the real time notifications. So many practical and useful videos are available in my channel. Kindly go through the videos. You can do the accounting work as a professional. We can meet on next video. Till then, bye.